Want the most bang for your buck when buying your costume jewelry? Here's my quick tips on how I buy mine. So my favorite tip by far is the difference between an AB finished rhinestone and a clear rhinestone. AB stands for Aurora Borealis and it's simply a finish on top of a clear rhinestone that makes gives it this rainbow effect as you can see. Now the AB rhinestone will reflect light more with this finish as you can see here. And also on blue fabric it will reflect more blue while on red fabric it reflects more red, meaning it matches your costumes. And you can see on this the clear one, not so much the difference, it's pretty much the same for both. When buying earrings, there's an ideal size. You want to buy about three inch long, three and a half inch long earrings. And you can see about the length on this hits nicely just under the chin for most people. Now, if you start looking into earrings that are about four inches long, they're going to be too long. And my biggest problem is that they will hit your teeth as you turn. No fun. It has hurt. <laughs> and then if anything is about two inches or smaller, it's too small. It's way too small. And you can see the comparison with the three and a half inch. And on the body, it just completely disappears. Now also when you're buying your earrings, you want to weigh them. I like to take one of my daily, daily wear earrings and weigh it in comparison to the other ones. For bracelets, I love embedded rhinestones versus rhinestone chain. You'll see that the rhinestone chain teeth pop out and catch on all your silk props, which is just not good on stage. And a little test you can do in this store is rub your bracelet that you want to buy on your shirt. And if it gets caught, not a good idea. If it doesn't, great idea necklaces. So when buying these you want to make sure the length is not too short and choking you too long and messing around in your cleavage just right in the center. Also good measurement guidelines is about one inch width around the side and then up to about two and a half for the main pendant. Once you get to four it's too much. Now when putting together a basic set that goes with everything this involves those three inch earrings the necklace measurements we just talked about, and a simple bracelet that is not rhinestone chain, so nothing will get caught on anything. Sets are not always balanced. This huge necklace is great, but the earrings are too big for it. So just keep that in mind, and there you go. Some quick tips for your jewelry.